Today I want to speak about uh, a little, some things about uh, um, this new film uh, of Netflix uh, by the name Metal Lords. So, this is another also teenage uh, uh, movie about metal music. And first of all, as a metalhead, I have to say that everything that speaks in the general culture about metal with uh, not a negative wave it's uh, something good i'm not from these metalheads that they want only uh, metal to be only for the metalheads of course we want uh, every healthy metalhead wants that, that his music his uh, beloved music to become even more mainstream why not I can understand many things, many people inside maybe the me metal community that they think that if you are a little bit more mainstream, this is all, always bad. This is not really. Sometimes you you can be mainstream and also mainstream in the co in, uh, in, in in the general community, and also to be real about your music. As for this reason, uh, I. I don't understand why many people, some metalheads, uh, hate bands that uh, become successful. Uh, I don't have problem that someone li don't doesn't like uh, the music of one band. This is something that we can understand. But only because be because some bands became um, even more mainstream, not because they changed their uh, um, their music. Only because uh, m m many people from the outside uh, they started to know them, this is not bad. For the for this reason, I don't have any problem about the success the success of Ghost, for example, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, so every film that uh, is a positive film and not something negative. Is something that we we don't have problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. And of course, Metal Lords is not a problematic film. Now about the film, uh, I will not I won't sp speak as uh, uh, even more about the scenario of the film. Um, but uh, also here we know that uh, Tom Morello is one of the co-producers if I'm not sure uh, of the film and also this, this, this is the inside the film it is this epic uh, uh, scene that we can see Tom Morello together with Kirk Hammett together with uh, uh, Scott Ian from Anthrax and um, we can see there also Rob Halford of Judas Priest and this is something very special but now uh, Maybe the, the 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 only thing that uh, I think that is a little bit more um, not clear uh, is uh, some stereotypes about the metalheads. Uh, these stereotypes is not uh, always bad, but uh, many people will think that uh, metalheads they are only of this kind of people. For example, this this character by the name Hunter that he's he's very he's the close he's in the beginning of the film uh, he's uh, this kind of the close mind mental head uh, okay there are also these guys but most of the most of the metal heads uh, i can say that they're not so uh, maybe they have some uh, uh, prejudices about the other kind of musics and uh, maybe they they make fun about the other kind of, mu of, of music, but in any case, they're not exactly like this style. Um, also, something good about the film, uh, it, uh, it has some songs, some good songs inside it. Also, of course, these songs are very, very uh, basic for someone that starts to listen uh, uh, to metal. Something else I don't understand inside the film is uh, that uh, if we speak about uh, a so close metalhead as Under, how he, how he listens uh, to some other kind of music, 
uh, for example, how he listens to rates against the machine. Okay, I know that Tom Morello is against is is a is a co-producer, so they, they had to speak about rates against the machine, uh, or how he's he uh, he listens to Mesuga from Sweden. He has a, a t-shirt of Mesuga and so on and so on, uh, because um, someone that designed metal understands the differences. Uh, or how he listens to sleep or not, and so on. Um, now, uh, another thing also, uh, he called his music something like a post doom death metal, something like that, and he plays uh, thrust metal, speed thrust metal. Okay, or, or, someone that he is a metalhead understands the differences of the genres. Um, the film, the film is cute. The scenario is cute also. Uh, for me, it's a little bit um, more closer to school of rock uh, style, a little bit more for teenagers. Um, I can say also that uh, um, some people uh, also they ask uh, to Netflix to make to make uh, uh, another film uh, number two. Uh, of uh, of uh, of metal roads or uh, a serious uh, okay maybe it's good uh, also it's funny that they called the film metal lords because of the whole thing about um, uh, another also film before two years by the name uh, lords of chaos about the story of mayhem it also was very controversial inside the metal uh, community and, and especially the, inside the black metal community. Uh, the, film is, the film is okay. I don't have problem with this and I, uh, I recommend it, it uh, to everyone, also to the metalheads. And also I can say that um, the music of the film and especially the song that they, they made uh, because of this film um, it was a very good song, a very good song, a little bit uh, Metallica style of thrust speed metal, uh, Machinery of Torment, I, if, if I'm not sure the name of this song, it was also so, so good. Uh, this is about uh, uh, Metal Lords of Netflix, and um, yes, I want to see even more films like that. I know that also there are other films uh, in the last years about metal or metal bands. Uh, we know about uh, uh, Lords of Chaos, uh, uh, The Dirt, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, it's not exactly about uh, metal, it's about uh, rock, about Queen. A School of Rock, a Metal Trip. Metalhead um, and so on and so on. Uh, of of course, uh, uh, other films like uh, uh, Tendentious D, and there are many also uh, films about metal from the 80s until today. This is also also one way that uh, young uh, boys and girls will listen uh, to metal. Because many people think that uh, so many stereotypes about the metal music and they don't want to listen to it from the beginning. But when they start to listen to it by another way, they see that also is, it is music and it's not something uh, bad. It's not only something like uh, people think that it's a satanist uh, way and it's all, all these, uh, all these stereotype, uh, uh, stereotypical ideas. So many people maybe will, uh, and uh, young people, maybe they will start to listen uh, to this kind of music that uh, every, every metalhead loves. So from Israel, from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.